Hey YouTube, this is Marshall Report and in this video I am going to show you a quick review of this stock Reloaded Marshmallow prepared by Monotech. Now we have the version 2 and it is fully partially, not fully, we can say it is partially grazed. It means some of the features of the Note 7. Here you can see the stock optimized version 2 by Monotech. And we have the new boot logo and we also have a new boot animation. In this room here you can see that it is partially grazed. It means some of the apps of the Note 7 and the grace UI of the Note 7 is used in this room. So let me quickly restart the phone to show you the boot logo and boot animation. So here you can see that the boot animation is there. So here is the boot logo, new boot logo. If you want to install this ROM, you can simply flash the file. I have provided the file in the description by using TWRP. So here we have the new boot animation. It's really nice. And if you don't, if you want some of the features and, and there is no need to go to now Note 7 ROM, you can use this debloated stock ROM by Morantic. Morantic has also uploaded a ROM which is related to S5 Neo ROM. If you don't have, you can check out my video. I have provided the links in the description too. Here you can see that it is partially glitched. It means some of the interface or apps are used in this room. Here it is partially glazed, not fully. The apps which using glazed versions. Here we have some apps like Camera, I would to clock my files, get it to and etc. Now we have white boot animation and white boot logo. So it's really amazing. We are getting in this stock as it is of the notes and feature. And the file size is around 800 MB. And nothing new in the apps. Yeah, the new thing is this Viper BX. I'm really getting a good sound quality with this so you don't have to now flash this you can easily use it from here directly and I definitely do use this one because it is as it is fully devoted and I am getting a benchmark score in geek bench of around 700 it is continuously increasing as the developers are still hard working and the already prepared this one especially for us and uh, in the multi score I am getting around 3650 it is the greatest score I have ever seen on any custom ROM of G7 and you hope it will be so increase up to 4000 or maybe up to that it means the J7 2016 is up to the same if you compare it with J7 2016 variant in the custom rooms so nothing is new in this settings means the advanced features is everything is the same now you can multi user feature there so I think that's all with this I hope you like this video and if you do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And for more videos like this, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.